Hello again, this is VGTech episode number 3. In this episode, I will go to explain how to current sense uh, the, uh, the current that uh, is flowing in your load in your circuit using a differential amplifier circuit. Uh, so let's get started. So pretty much this is the basic electronic circuit where is a voltage source and a current, uh, I'm sorry, and a, um, a load, and there is a current flowing in here. So by Ohm's law, 10 volts over 10 ohms, it's gonna equal one amp. So we know this for sure from the, the Ohm's law. How can we actually measure it? Well, we have the indirect methods and we have direct method. The indirect method relies on Faraday's law of induction, which means that whenever this current flows in a, in a wire or something, it's gonna be induced voltage in something like this, which is called the current transformer. It's a, a transformer uh, made exactly for this purpose, which will induce a voltage, and this voltage will be proportional to the current. The more current, the more voltage. And this voltage, you can take it to the microcontroller, uh, if it's Arduino or PIC or anything, and it will uh, measure it very precisely. But this is suited more for high current loads and will, and it is expensive and something like that. The other method is direct method, which relies on Ohm's law, which, which is V equals I R. So it means I equals V over R. So if we knew the 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 r value the resistance value and we actually measured voltage because all electronics uh, microcontrollers can measure voltage we can decide the current simple as that this is how a multimeter works exactly like the same way a current flows in the load and a cut in the circuit is made to the multimeter and uh, continues its way along uh, the negative terminal of the battery or the voltage source. Now, as for this direct current sensing, there are two ways: high high side current sensing and low side current sensing. It basically means whether your lo your load is above or below the sensing resistor. This is called a sensing resistor. Here it is high side, and here it is low side. In this low side, you can actually get rid of this amplifier uh, altogether uh, in some cases, but we will not go with it. We will try to describe the general uh, circuits which works in both ways, both high side and low side. This is called a differential amplifier. If this voltage 2 and voltage 1 appears at this uh, configuration, R1, R2, R3, R4, this is connected from the negative to the output which is negative uh, from negative to output and this is like this the output voltage of the amplifier which will go to the microcontroller is gonna equal the difference between these two voltages times a gain the gain is decided by R3 over R1 if it is 1k and this is 1k it's gonna be a gain of 1 which is a unity gain a differential amplifier and you can maybe set it to 10 over 1 which means 10, 10 times the difference so if the difference between these two is very low, you can actually amplify it without any loss of accuracy. Okay, so let, let's now try to simulate it in LT Spice. This is exactly the same idea, LT1678, which, uh, which is a very good uh, amplifier. You can pick anything like LM324, LM358 or whatever. This is the sensing resistor, the shunt resistor, and this is the output or the load okay if we if we said 10 volts times 0 0.1 and 10 uh, because they are in uh, series it's gonna be 10.1 okay it's gonna be 0 0.99 vo uh, amps flowing in here but what about the difference between these two what will it be okay so we said 990 milliamps it's gonna be flowing here now times 0 0.1 it's gonna be 99 millivolts so when this type of current flows here we, uh, we're gonna expect 99 millivolts difference voltage across this R and uh, this unity gain as we expected as we said in the previous uh, demonstration it's gonna output exactly 99 millivolts let's simulate that okay 
and here it is exactly like we expected 99 millivolts so the current flows here is actually 990 milliamps and it is taking it as a times one amplifier but what if we want this to be a times a times um, a times 10 we're gonna say 100k and 100k Ex uh, expanding the range uh, increases accuracy in most cases run which is now exactly like exactly like the current so this is 990 milliamp and it corresponds exactly like this 990 millivolts so this is can be called uh, a current to voltage converter which is also available as a current sensing circuit now you can take this uh, this uh, one volt uh, maximum one, uh, one, uh, one volt maximum uh, voltage signal that corresponds to your current and feed it to controllers like Arduino or PIC and you can actually get the, the current you sense here very precisely now one more thing these shunt resistors you can you can have a 0.1 but you gotta make sure the tolerance is accepted maybe one percent or the better is 0.1 percent if you are so serious about this and most importantly the power rating of the resistor this resistor can dissipate a total of 0.99 amps times 0.99 amps times 0.1 which will be around 0.09 uh, watts of power so you're gonna make this uh, somehow a very a very good maybe maybe a one watt resistor will, will be enough for you and if the current is going actually more it's gonna be more so this is this is how it's work it, it is working you can get a high power resistor or you can put 10 of one ohm resistors all together in parallel and they will form a, a total resistance of 0 0.1 uh, ohms which will save you a lot of cost of buy, uh, rather than buying one expensive resistor and they're gonna sh share the heat and share the current and that's how about it tell me what uh, do you like or you dislike in this circuit which is very basic and I'm going to use such a circuit or, or have used but now I changed it in this design of mine this is a, a, a linear lab power supply design very efficient very stable and this is the the resistance that I'm talking about quite right here this is 0.1 resistance just before the ground so you can you can you can say it is low side but it is not like that because the topology here is flipped around and you can say that this one exactly comes to the uh, operational amplifier responsible for uh, measuring and uh, comparing currents which will not go into in this uh, video I will save this and I will make a video series talking about how did I design this uh, one and what will go when I uh, finish it and uh, of course it's gonna be an open source uh, design now thumbs up and like if you sh if you like uh, to see this design coming into life and tell me what do you think about uh, this video and if uh, what ideas do you do you see or do you think suitable for other videos of the same uh, type or anything like else and right now I'm going to say goodbye thank you for watching